Um, to move on to the next story, um, let me write this down. Uh, Sony has announced a partnership with Discord with plans to bring the text and voice service to PlayStation platforms beginning sometime next year. Uh, Discord has previously been rumored to go public in addition to looking for buyers, which included Sony's direct competitor, Microsoft. Uh, Overall, having a unified communications app between all the gaming platforms is ultimately a net benefit for gamers. Uh, But uh, why the fuck did I write this sentence this way? Jesus Christ. Okay, anecdotally for me, I think this is fucking amazing. I want Discord to be on every gaming platform available. Uh, So here's an anecdote. Me and Sarah, we used to play Siege on uh, on console. I typically played on PC, but I'll play with people on other platforms. Um, I like to play most games with headphones, especially a game like Siege, where you need to be able to hear where people are walking, like, oh, are they up on the second floor above me, or but what direction are they in? It, it's very nice to play with headphones. Um, so I have two options when I'm playing um, a game on console. If, if I want to chat with them, we need to use PSN service, which means uh, everyone has to agree to jump all over to PlayStation. We use that. That way I can still use my headphones. Uh, second option, everyone hops in a Discord because it's a nice, convenient thing that normal human beings like to do nowadays. Uh, but then I can't have my headset on, so I'm at a disadvantage when I'm playing. Um, it, Yeah, it, it's it's not fun. But... I, th- I think overall having a unified experience is is ultimately that net benefit to everybody. And um, maybe this is even like specifically a PC issue because, you know, you log in onto uh, on a PlayStation or Xbox. You can see everything your friends are playing. If they're playing Call of Duty, they're playing Halo, whatever. It doesn't really matter uh, on PC. I would like to think the old golden rule was. Regardless if you're playing something on Blizzard, if you're playing League or Ubisoft Origin, like the general rule of thumb is you log into Steam. That's where you see like all your friends are online. And obviously Discord has kind of taken that and just be like, hey, by default, log it, log into Discord. Everyone knows who what friends are online doing what and whatnot. So I think even expanding that further is uh, a pretty damn good convenience. But uh, anyone else have any impassioned uh discord discourse so my favorite thing about discord is the fact that your friends can see what you're what you're playing i don't know why i like that that's just a weird thing to me so be so your friends being able to see what you're playing on like playstation i think is really cool because it's like oh you can actually see that i am on my playstation why would you think that i am lying to you like i am currently on it i am playing something but also like i use discord a lot it's how me and my boyfriend connect is we talk through that because it's because it's because it's just easy, easier. So it's like being able to use something with PlayStation. Because like PlayStation parties are great. Um, I use them a lot because that's how me and my friend play each together. That's how you and I play each together. But I but I like to. It's it's the whole thing of being able to have my headphones in, uh, hearing everything in stage while also hearing my friend and not being able to get like distracted or anything. I mean, I'm personally fine with PlayStation parties. I like Discord parties, but it's all based on like what's what's good in the moment, if that makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. do I want to be on a Discord party so I can hear my game and talk to someone at at the same time, or do I want to be on a PlayStation party because I want to hear the game and hear someone say, "Hey, to your left," or hear there's something behind you, so I can know in game, like, "Oh, there's actually something behind me," or there there's a noise to my left that I didn't hear. Right type of thing so blaine ramen any thoughts yeah I'd, I'd agree that it's situational for me i think i'm the old man who jake's fist at cloud meme with discord <laughs> 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 to where I, I understand its appeal and and the fact that it's a unified chat program you know across any platform that you're on but sometimes the convenience of just staying within the boundaries of the walled garden you know, of PlayStation or Xbox is is more convenient, kind of like to what Sarah was alluding to. But I, you know, the more open that the PlayStation gets, the better. Hopefully, they're tearing a couple of those walls down. I know that it was a big ask for them to do crossplay, apparently, from you know said lawsuit <laughs> coming out. <laughs> but 
yeah, I, I think it can only help. The more you know, unified chat programs we have, the better, more united people will get. Yeah. Yep. I pretty much agree. Um, the more, uh, I think I think Discord has its issues that can and need to be ironed out over time. But aside from you know just whatever thing I could think of, uh, the fact that it's avail- going to be either is or going to be available on more platforms is great. Being able to like, like for instance, like if you want to play, if they figure out a way to, I don't know if there's a way to do cross play on like Mario Combat 11, for example, with friends. I know there's a way to do it like matchmaking, basically a randos. So, like, if you could figure out, like, you know, things, situations like that and have you be able to talk to your friends at the same time, not have to log into their computer to do it, not have to be on the same system to do it. Just more options for people and it's going to bring people together. I, th- I think uh, just just a quick example and then we can move on. Like, uh, let, let's take uh, Fortnite where you can play it like on everything under the sun. Uh, like, you can see if your Fortnite friends are playing on other platforms, like, if you're actively playing that game. But being able to see what everyone's doing, like, at any given time, you know, obviously, if they are if they have those connections available. Um, and being able to circumvent using game chat, because in-game chat fucking sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, for Fortnite. Nine it's- times out of ten. <laughs> yep. Especially in, like, if you're playing, like, a Call of Duty or Siege. Oh yeah, you do not want to deal with that shit. You don't. 